हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू टू डे शीश फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू मैनेज क्लस्टर नोड एंड रिसोर्सेस सो फ्रेंड्स एंड लास्ट टू क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न हाउ टू सेट अप क्लस्टर एंड इन द नेक्स्ट इन द क्लस्टर पार्ट टू दैट मींस इन द सेकंड सेशन वी लर्न हाउ टू एड रिसोर्सेस how to delete okay so two videos already uploaded so you can you know watch that video okay so today is the uh, third session okay uh, so let's see how to manage cluster node and resources okay so friends uh, i have already uh, logged into the both the nodes node 1 and node 2 which are part of the cluster so if i give so rm status you can see that uh, both the nodes that means node 1 and node 2 both are online okay no resources so i have prepared um uh, you know cert uh, document like you know lab details that means there is two node right node 1 and node 2 okay and then the respective ip address then uh, this is the command crm status to uh, you know view the cluster status then crm configure so view the cluster configuration then in this lab what we will do first we will add ip resource you know ip resource and then second uh, resource will be the apache okay so in this lab we will add two resource one is ip address second one is apache okay then second thing we are going to do that uh, we will add both the resources to one group okay we will add first we will create the uh, two resource one is ip address and another is apache then we will uh, add that two resources to a group okay for better management okay then what uh, next thing we will do we will uh, you know uh, uh, set the order okay in which order the resources will start okay that means we will create two resource right one is ip address second one is uh, uh, this apache okay so so the in which order both the resources will start okay okay which will uh, which resource will start first and which resources will uh, uh, start second okay then third thing co-locations so co-locations means uh, that means uh, basically uh, it ensures that both the resources will will run on single node itself okay that means if apache first resource is running on node 1 that means second resources will run on the same node okay that is called co-location okay then uh, after that we will uh, see the cluster node management in the cluster node management how to command to check crm node list this is the command to check the node list then the how to put a node into maintenance mode how to put you know uh, uh, put the servers into the standby node then from the standby node to online then again uh, from the maintenance mode to ready state so these are the thing we will uh, do then we will testing actually so we will down one servers whether that particular uh, resources is migrating to the another or not okay for the high availability okay so first thing we will uh, add first resource okay so first we will add the first resource which is ip address okay so you can see there no resources as of now there is no resources so first we will add so first we will add first resource so crm configure primitive then the resource name is floating ip then the this is the resource agent for the ip address okay then forums then the uh, floating ip address is 192.168.11.2 this is the floating ip address okay then net mask 24 then monitor interval is 40 seconds okay we will start okay so if i will give now crm status then it will show that this resource has been added okay which is started on node 1 
now we will add the second resource which is apache okay so uh, friends uh, same thing we'll do crm configure primitive apache apache is the uh, resource name then the resource agent okay OCF underscore heartbeat underscore apache then forums then you know uh, config file is slash etc slash http slash com slash http dot com monitor interval is 40 seconds then start time equal to 50 seconds then timeout is 60 seconds okay like this we will configure the second resource so second resource got added okay so if i will give the crm status so it will show floating ip then apache okay if i will give the crm configure so what it will show so it will in that node to apache okay first resource is apache second resource is floating ip so floating ip address is 192.168.11.0 so if i will ping then now 192.168.11.10 now it is pingable okay so so we configured that thing so third thing what we are going to do now we'll uh, you know uh, we'll both the resource right floating ip and apache to a resource group okay so uh, friend you can see that so uh, for the grouping uh, of resources so this is the command crm configure group then the group name okay then the resource name floating ip apache in our case we have uh, two resource floating ip and apache so we are uh, adding both the resource to a resource group called my resource group okay okay so if i will give the crm configure so then you can see this is group my resource group which is the group name the floating ip and apache which is coming under my resource group okay so friends uh, we added both the resource to a resource group so now we will set the order okay in which order the resource will will start okay so uh, one, okay then we will trigger one command then crm configure order then order name suppose i will give my order my order then the floating ip apache start okay that means first the floating ip will start service uh, service will start then apache uh, after that apache will start okay so we now we set the order actually okay if we'll give the crm configure so if we can see that my order floating ip first will start then apache will start okay so friends uh, uh, we have already set the order okay starting order for the resource now we'll you know uh, set the co-locations okay so if you can give crm status okay so now that you know uh, uh, the floating ip apache are running on node 1 and node 1 okay so now i need to set the co-location co-location means suppose uh, where the floating ip will start in the same node apache will start okay they will not run on different different node okay if both the resources will run on a particular single node okay they will not run in a separate separate node that means node 1 and node 2 they will if they will if floating ip is running on node 1 that means apache has to run okay that is called co-location okay so now i will one, uh, run one command to set the co-location so friend so uh, uh, crm configure crm configure co-location then co-location name suppose my co-location okay then the resource group name so in our case what is the resource group name so resource name is my resource group okay okay so if i'll give the cm configure so then it will show the the co-locations okay this is the configurations okay 
so friends so we uh, what we did actually we added both the resources then we add both the resources to a group then we set the order then we set the co-location okay so these are the things we learn okay so now we learn the node management okay so if i'll give crm node less that means no uh, crm node okay so no sorry crm node okay so crm node list okay crm node list means node 1 and node 2 okay so if i give crm status so currently that both the resource is running on node 1 okay so now i will put the node in a uh, suppose uh, i will put the node in standby okay that means for some uh, for some regions i will put the node into standby okay then it should the all the resources should fall over to the node 2 okay for the high availability so there will be no you know uh, no downtime okay so uh, we'll see so first i will give what we'll do crm so if i'll give here command crm start sorry crm crm status so both the resources is running on node 1 okay if i'll put node 1 to standby that means all the resources should run on node 2 okay for the high availability okay so if we can see so it is now the ip is being able okay ip is being able okay so if i'll put crm node standby standby node 1 crm node standby node 1 so that means i am putting node 1 into standby node and the all the services to the fell over to the node 2 and it will run smoothly so the user will not no uh, there will be no downtime okay so crm node standby node 1 okay so if i can give crm status so if you can see if you can see so node, node 1 is standby node 2 is online and the so both the services has started on node 2 if you can see also there is no you know there is no request timeout or nothing no downtime okay still the site the apache web server is reachable okay so the user will not face any you know uh, any type of uh, downtime okay any type of to any type of difficulties to access the web page okay so if now i will put stand from standby to online okay node 1 okay crm node online node 1 then if i'll give the crm status now both the nodes are online okay so so now if you can see there is all the resources running on node 2 okay so in case if so if i'll give crm suppose if i'll run here crm cluster stop crm cluster 2 so if the it will stop the cluster means a particular node okay then you no know, the services should fall over to the node 1 okay here okay crm cluster stop okay cluster service stop so if i'll give crm status now see the cluster fell over to the node 1 okay node 1 okay 
so now CRM cluster start okay so cluster service started okay so another testing will I know uh, do, uh, will the final testing will do will down the server okay then it should fail over to the uh, you know uh, that means second node and the service will run smoothly okay there will be no downtime okay so i what i will do i will totally down the server suppose due to some reasons server goes down okay but you know if the server goes down also the you know our web server uh, you know work smoothly okay the user will not face any type of uh, interruptions to accessing the websites so see, see here this is reply from 11.10 that means supporting ip okay through which the user will access to the website okay so if i'll give the shot down hyphen h now so now node 2 goes down so if i'll check here see the service started in node 2 earlierly the service was started on node 2 was running on node 1 but now you know as we shut down the node 1 then it service started on node 2 so if you can see there is no failure okay reply still reply from uh, you know uh, from the uh, floating ip okay so this is the beauty of the clustering this is the beauty there you will not there will be no downtime okay there will be no downtime so if you can see also node 1 is offline only node 2 is online okay so so guys hope you enjoy the session guys if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe now for more videos related to uh, cloud devops linux clustering so latest technologies okay so see you soon thank you have a good day bye